Welcome YouTube subscribers, friends, family, and all. Well, this is another uh, part to this camper. If you notice, unlike the last time, I, I believe if you watched my last video on the actual camper build, you notice that I had the entire floor done. Well, since then, here's the progress. The floor is completely bolted down to the frame using uh, six inch bolts, um, carriage bolts, I'm sorry. It's six inch carriage bolts, there's 10 of them holding the entire floor down. So far in the last two days, I've managed to build both 16 foot walls. They're seven foot, three inches tall. And I've built the five foot and some change wide front wall. Let me walk you around and then explain all the different openings because I know some people look at us and say, oh, this is just a mess. Well, let's see if I can get a good shot. All right, that center opening, let me see if I can get y'all there. That big square center opening right there, that is one of the front windows. That's a front window, Oops, sorry, right there. The rest of that's all framed out. I have the, the spacing on those. I'm gonna add a couple more uh, bracing in between that spacing, but they're set up right now for the right dimensions to put the sheathing on. If you do notice that the right side of it is uh, leaning down a little bit. It's not because of the framing. That's uh, one of the tires is flat. But the way these walls are super built square, I've double checked them on the f ground before even attempting to uh, put them up. Because this is a uh, not a conventional build for me, I decided to go ahead and do that. Rounding out here on this is the left side that opening right there that's for a small window uh, like two foot maybe two foot and some change wide by a foot tall or something that's gonna that's we're gonna have a window there we have the window in the front let's see this right here this opening right here in the center those studs are in the background not in the front but that from there to here and right there's the top plate and let's see Right there's the bottom plate. This is the actual door opening. Using the original camper door, the original camper windows. On the front, when I'm done, I decided I'm gonna build a two by two, um, like a decorative frame around that window. The reason is gonna be I decided to put shutters on the very front window. So it acts as a gravel guard when I'm driving. And then when I'm parked, it'll give me a little bit of shade when I'm out camping. All right, this right here, this opening right here, this is this is, uh, the third window. Um, if you notice, I put the two larger windows I uh, scavenged from my old camper, put one on the side, one in the front, and um, I decided I thought it'd look more artistically sound to put the smaller little window by the door. Um, well, to just say thank God for right now, at least I got three walls up. I still have the back wall to do, which will contain the AC unit which hopefully I can get to run off solar or a generator whenever uh, whenever out camping or off grid or anything um, I decided to keep, I have a little window AC, it's like brand new eight years old, never barely used it but four or five times it still does work cold, I checked it the other day well at least I can say one thing, all jokes I'll be the first one to actually step through my own first door opening. Let's see if we can capture that from the inside. See, there's a door opening right there. We got the small window opening right here. I apologize on this camera, it has a very tight lens. And there's another opening there. And here's the one for the front. Well guys, I really appreciate y'all watching my videos. Please leave me comments on anything. I'm more than glad to receive feedback. You know, um, any ideas, any things I'm building, give me, uh, you know, shot me a message or leave me a comment. Well, y'all have a good one and God bless y'all.